I'm so excited, man. Let's get down to it. Man, I've thought about this a lot, and I really enjoyed reading all your guys' comments. I really do. We got, like, over 100 and some in the first handful of hours, so. Oh, man. Let's take a look. All right, here's here's my thing. I'd love to, to pick any of these drivers, I think. I've heard some good things about George Russell. He's 9 mil. The problem with it, though, is I've only got 15 mil in the bank as it stands right now. I guess we'll get another 10 million here soon or whatever end of season bonuses and stuff. I kind of wish this was laid out a little bit better just so I could tell exactly, you know, what we were, what we have to play with here so I could more accurately go after a driver, I think. Also, side note, I did the little update thing to apply the, uh, the real life driver ratings. I saw that pop up and, uh, yeah, I think some of these guys are a little bit different. Either way though, here's the thing. I'd really like to get one of these young drivers that's obviously better than Jordan King. But I think I'm going to give him another season. Am I going to regret it? Probably. Am I signing him just to hopefully have one cool moment over a 22 race season? Yeah. But most importantly, though, only four mil. I'd like to think he'll get better. And most importantly, going into our second full season, we can take all of our money and really push it in and, and help make us better. So with that being said... It looks like somehow, some way, Jordan King is going to last. I think I owe it to him. Let me give him another season. Let me really see what he's got. Try to build him some better cars. Let's do it. Jordan King, we're going four mil. Medium risk. If he signs with somebody else, I'm going to be pissed. I should have gave him the, the, the lowest offer, but declined. Imagine declining my offer. Bitch, you wouldn't even be here. Well, that's interesting, so I, uh, I guess I have to advance to... <laughs> Interesting. Advanced time? Hey boss, I think we could better manage hey. our time by organizing some team activities. Go right. to the activity but, screen to but, see what we have available. It's all full! Alright, renegotiate with teammate. Are we really gonna do this? You can really make me pay you just a little bit more to fucking... <laughs> Are you serious right now, Jordan King? Are you, like, is this what we're doing? Fucking whatever, nickel and dime me. See where it gets you next season, Jordan. Yeah, that's what I thought. Everybody welcome back Jordan King Fucking asshole the audacity to pile into somebody under caution and destroy your car and then nickel and dime me on Contract day. What a guy. You're so lucky. I wouldn't do this for anybody else Well now that we got that out of the way Let me go ahead and get in this R&D tree here. We've got a major aerodynamic upgrade going on right now and uh could do some other stuff over there. I'm looking for some major upgrades. Major ERS upgrade? Don't mind if I do. That needs to happen. That alone is gonna help us out tremendously. And that's basically our resource points. I'd like to think we'll get some more here end of season. Uh, facilities! We're bottom three in both chassis and arrow, so uh, yeah, looks like we're gonna do one of the two. Let's go, uh, let's go arrow. Yeah, I wanna do a build time upgrade. Build time upgrade. Let's do another build time upgrade over here on the chassis. I like that. Gotta get those build times down so we can get, get them on the cars quicker. And that leaves us with one million in the bank. And we shall advance. Okie dokie. Uh, power equipment upgrade. Fun. I'm not currently in a rivalry. Sooner or later, you'll probably be asked by the media who you consider to be your rival. Think carefully who you select. While you will receive a Hey, power in the offseason. Shut the fuck up. Alright, press interview. Let's get it. Well, it's great to be back at your hey. headquarters. And yeah. I've got to say, an awful lot's changed since we were last here. Pretty sure you said that the last time. Questions. Isn't it safe to say you focused heavily on driver development? Uh, no. I think we focused on everything there, pal. But drivers are an investment. We need, we need to take care of them. You seem to be stuck in the mid-tier at the moment. I would say so. Or will you be aiming to challenge the top teams... <laughs> Let me tell you something. It's better than fucking racing with uh, Williams. Oh, that's pretty cool. With the supporters, I could just sell out. We're working hard to challenge the top teams. Uh, I wouldn't call it stuck. You can't go from rookie to legend. That's very true. But uh, hey, we like to. Maybe they'll give me some extra money. Get money? Your sponsor has get. I, Would it be okay, thank you for your in money. In terms of team orders, your career comes first in your team. You got damn right. And it's also my second driver is Jordan King, so it's like it's not like there's gonna be much of a challenge, anyways. So, my team, my rules. 
Do you see your relationship with your second driver being long term, or will you be looking for someone else if you're successful? I still don't know. They can develop as fast as the team. Their position is safe. This is uh yeah. This is Jordan's. This is Jordan's year. This is uh. <laughs> he definitely won't be back if he does not perform. Your career comes from Motherfucker! Your team. My team, my rules. What don't you understand? Get the fuck out of my team shop. Inviting us here. It's been fantastic. I didn't invite you. The game made me. Don't get it twisted. All right, we'll continue advancing here. Okie dokie stuffs. Um, oh, that fucking failed. Oh shit. We had a major issue on the production line earlier this week, so the entire development package for this weekend has failed. <laughs> That's Check exciting. Check the R&D screen to order any redevelopments. Ah, oh, boss, I did them too early. That's what happened. I did them too early. They're supposed to be a guarantee during the off season. Oh, and I'm not gonna god motherfucking darn it! 587 resource points to redo it. What the hell is that? Damn you, Formula One. We'll go ahead and finish the season then. And uh, start up again. Oh boy. I guess we'll get to see. Uh, oh hey, look at this. Whoa. Oh Jesus. All right. Jordan King didn't get very, didn't get very many levels there. Claim boost. Woo. Up to level 14. Oh, Jesus Christ. Primary sponsor. And we got prize money? Fuck yeah. Oh, I love the fact that we get prize money. That's awesome. Look at that money. Jesus Christ. I really wish it would do all this stuff before you kind of like make your plans for the offseason. Because if I would have got all that money, nine chances out of ten, I might have gone a different direction than Jordan King. But at the same time, I'm happy to bring him back for a season two. We're still early on here. Well, there's a look at it. Uh, definitely one-sided, but you know... It, it happens like that sometimes. Hey, and we're back. All right. Who put a blanket over my car? I guess we got to have a big reveal. Do we have 27 million in the bank? What the f... <laughs> Holy fuck. All right. I, oh, yeah. We got some stuff to look over now. Oh, fuck. Look at this. Jesus Christ. We're professionals now. All right. Oh, yeah, this is a little different, I think. Oh, fucking cool. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this money. One of the things I'd like to do, I'd like to upgrade... Uh, I'd like to give some more to Jordan King this year. So I'm going to get this first upgrade simulator. Second driver pace will slightly improve. Oh, this is a meaty upgrade. Second driver mod moderately improves second driver's race craft and awareness. That's that's a twofer right there. Give me some of that. I've heard good things from this. This, you know, gets more... Resource points. Yeah, why not? Let's get that on there. Uh, powertrain could use something over here. Build time. Yeah, let's bring it on back down. That brings us to 14 mil. Resource point generation. Man, it's loud near. Let's get let's get one of those. Yeah. Resource point generation over here too. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna about do us there for the money. All right, that's a lot of upgrades. Let me tell you. Oh, cool. We could do a five day driver training camp. I like that. Man, we could do a lot of things. The only thing is we can only do one of these. Seven day power and durability focus. That gives us a lot of resource points. Oh, I think we're going to have to go arrow and chassis focus because we really need to do that. I'd really like to do that for Jordan King though. Plus three on all the stats. Oh, it's hard to, hard to not do. But no, we got to go, uh, we got to go arrow and chassis focus. Hold on, I might just be able to do it. Fuck yeah, I can fit it in. Ha! <laughs> All right, I'm excited. All right, well, I believe it's about time to advance. We've got a shitload of stuff. 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 Okay. We've it's a lot of stuff. Come through from the fabrication process. Woo! We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. Fuck yeah. Oh, hell yeah, we got all our facilities and everything in here. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Well, I really fucked it with this arrow upgrade, but we'll get it in after the first GP here. So, uh, R&D tree, though, it's looking a little bit more thick. It's starting to fill out a little bit here. I like it. Hey! Hey, look at that! That See, that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Jordan King up to a 74 overall now. Plus 5 on the experience, plus 10, plus 10, and plus 5. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, now we gotta do this car reveal. Let's, let's, let's check it out.
All right, well, that was neat. There's a look at our car for this season. Ah, it came out pretty good. Personally, I think it looks pretty damn clean, if I do say myself. Oh, and we haven't even done this driver training camp yet. That's coming up. Let's go ahead and advance again, shall we? Get uh, Jordan his uh, training in. Oh, hell yeah. And that brings us to Australia. Man, that was a really fun offseason. I love how much stuff there is. Man, that's awesome. 77! Yeah! Ha! <laughs> what a beast! I'm super excited now. That's what I'm saying, man. If I can make Jordan King into an actual driver, that's what I think I'm going for, man. I think that was a good call, man. Because uh, just like that, he's looking like a new driver. Also, we've got uh, we got the ability to do the the rush development now, which is uh, this week. It's currently pointless because uh, it's gonna come in between GPs here. So it's gonna take it's gonna take two of them, Australia and then uh, Bahrain. But major weight reduction, I like it. Again, we're still uh, bottom three here in uh, in F1, so uh, that's gonna help out a lot. And just like that, we've got a lot of resource points moving. We got a lot of upgrades moving. We got that ERS upgrade. Oh yeah, it's all coming together here. We're gonna we're starting off a little slow though, still, but uh, that really that really kickstarted us there. Season two is gonna be fun. Going into season three, I think we're gonna be pretty legit. But um, we got some business to take care of now. Season two, hopefully we can get it off to a good start here. We're going on to Australia. Y'all know the deal. We got an upgraded Jordan King. We got upgraded facilities. We got a brand new paint scheme. Let's fucking get it. Months of rumor and speculation all come to an end today as we return to Melbourne for the opening race of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to the Australian Grand Prix. Just south of Melbourne's downtown business center is the one and only Albert Park circuit. 3.3 miles of public roads, closed for the weekend of course, make for a bumpy circuit with little undulation. There are 16 corners around the lake and a couple of good passing opportunities here as well. Thanks in part to the DRS zones into turns 1, 3 and 13. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Alexander Albon and Verstappen, Ricardo, Perez, Gasly and Lando Norris, Fiat, Giovinazzi, Lance Stroll and Sainz, Ocon, Raikkonen, Wang and Kevin Magnussen, King, Grosjean, Russell and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Alrighty, well here we go on to season two. Obviously not a whole lot of huge changes to the actual car performance itself. We did get a major ERS upgrade through the offseason, so that's gonna help out a ton, but in terms of just raw pace and getting through the corners, you know, it's not really much better at all. In fact, I believe we showed up with the wrong uh, livery, which I don't know how the fuck that happens. I uh, I had to restart the game at some point during practices, and I came back and it was like, ah, congratulations, you have a new livery. The one, you know, you just spent uh, 10 minutes on creating and everything. Yep, ah, fuck it, we just replaced it with this one, so uh, fun. Yeah, here's a look at the race strategy. One stopper for us today, softs and hards. We'll see if a safety car messes that up. Uh, Jordan King looked like he had uh, a bit better pace in practice. Uh, you know, he's still qualified behind me, P19. But overall, he definitely does look faster. So uh, I think he'll he'll definitely have a, a, a bigger ceiling, a lot higher ceiling this uh, this season. So we'll see what we got. Yeah, I'm pissed. This is not my paint scheme. And it's like when you go into the, the little uh, race thing, when you go to the race, uh, yeah, I guess you can't, I guess that makes sense you can't change it. But like, it's a video game. I want to be able to change it because you fucking, you, the game changed it on me. Why can't I change it back? It's stupid. We got some like blue and red and some like preset one. Ah, oh, it's gross. Also, one thing I gotta tell you, we didn't get any driver changes. Not one. <laughs> that kind of sucks, but so it goes, I guess. I think we got, I think we scored points here in our first career F1 start, barely, if I remember correctly. So I definitely want to get some points today. Let's get it. Oh, 
No rear grip. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Not an awful start, I guess. Nice and easy. Hello, hello. Uh oh, caution. Yeah, oh my god, it don't turn. I don't know what the hell's wrong with this thing, man. But it, there's something, it doesn't turn. And I don't know why. Oh, okay, send it there. Alright, we're looking good so far. Sweet. Yeah, I've tried everything. I can't get the damn thing to turn in. Keep on going down my brake bias. Can't go much further. Ooh, I like it. I need to get... Oh, I'm sorry. I really didn't want to boom up that high, but I, I can't turn in that last corner. I sure as fuck know I can't. Oh my God, it's so bad. Oh no, pretty good start. Uh, doesn't look like Jordan King is last, so there's that, you know, that's good. I'd imagine he's probably dealing with the damn front push like I am. It is bad. This last corner. I could hold, I could hold on pretty good. I held on pretty good that time. Listen, you get a lot of wheel in it, man, and then it just pushes on exit. Snaps loose, you got so much damn wheel in it trying to get it to turn. The fun thing about this, though, is I can hit overtake almost every single straightaway for a little bit. And it's, dude, it's staying. I like it. Oh, man. Okie dokie. That'll settle it. Oh, and we have a couch. That was a good time to make that pass. Who is it? It's a pink car, I think. I don't know. I overdrove it looking at the dam. And eh, it's, it's a pink car. Safety car, safety okay, car, safety car is out. The safety, safety car, car is safety car. Okie dokie. <sighs> what the hell are we doing? Lap 10? Uh, I don't know what to do. A new strategy is oh, okay. On the we know what to do. They want me to go sauce right now. Copy. I don't know, man. The same kind of thing happened with uh, Brazil. I think I'm going to just stay out. And just go a little bit further. What, what's my tires at? Ooh, they could be better. But I think I'm just going to stay out, man. Let me take the track position. I, my tires aren't good, but I can I can deal. I don't know. Let me see what everybody else does here. Good pace. Looks like we got a lot of cars coming down pit road. Okay, looks like I'm doing the same then. We got a couple of cars to stay out. I like it. Jordan is coming in for a stop. All right. Yeah, it looks like everybody's doing the same thing. But then there's a dude. George should have stayed out. Go, oh go, go. come go, on! Go exit. Go, God go, go. damn it! Poor Jordan then has to wait on top of all that other horse shit back there. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat. If I would have stayed out, that would have benefited him, probably. Well, I don't know about that strategy call. I, a lot of people hit pit road. A lot of people. I honestly, at that point, I was like, I guess everybody's just gonna do it. But there still was a handful of guys that stayed out. Somehow, I ended up in front of Vettel and Norris. I, wait, hold on a second. I still came out ahead of where I was. I think, yeah. The fuck was I running like 14th? How the hell? Well then, uh, Alfred Mayo leads the way. Bob, uh, <laughs> Mercedes car. Another Alfa Romeo, the Haas. Oh boy. I think we did the right thing here. Obviously still a lot of race left, but uh, I mean, we got freshies here and we still ended up coming out higher than what we were. So, although we got some faster cars behind us, we got some slower cars in front of us. So, oh, ooh, I don't know. Park the bus up, up there, Alfa Romeo. George Russell's out of the session. What the hell? We get a lot of those under caution, man. That's, I don't know, that's been a couple times we've seen that now. Guess it just died under caution. Okay, well, thanks for playing. That's another one of these tracks that sucks to restart on. Because we got this last corner that we're going to probably restart in the middle of, I would imagine, or right in the middle of this one. One of the two. Either one is not good. 
Not good. Not good. I fucking god damn it, I hate that corner. Especially restarting. Again, it's just it's so fucking tight. Now you got so much fucking wheel in it, and it wants to kick on the exit. Fuck that corner. Whoever designed it should be beating the fucking head. The sack of fucking quarters. Oh my god, what a line. What is 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 this? I don't even know what the fuck I was looking at there for a minute. I got Ricardo. Good job. Oh, thanks. Ooh. Oh, we might have a go. Uh, I don't know. I didn't put it in Kivyat's ass there. Oh, how the like fuck did that? How are you the one to fuck it out of that situation? You had the line. That's why I followed. Oh my God, what are we doing? Why I always get stuck behind the damn goofies? Mm -hmm. Give me some more fucking room. Thank you. Not an ideal place to pass, but. That was faster. I got through those last two cars really good. I tell you what, though, there's a shit show up here in front of us, and I want to be a part of it. Oh, yeah, play defensive. See where it gets you, pal. Gets you another lost spot. Should have just held your line. Hey, we got DRS. All right. Oh, my God. They're making the moves are being made. Oh my lord Jesus. Moves are being made. Nice and easy. Oh yeah. There we go. We just gotta follow everybody else. Alright, well that's about the end of the road for me, I reckon. It was fun. Yo, Kimmy's still up here in P2. What a hoss. Albon can't get around him. I'm excited. Gotta be aggressive with those overtakes, man. Because Grosjean is just killing everybody back there behind us. On older tires, too. Oh, this is good stuff. I might be able to make some moves here. Might. This thing still kind of sucks, but... Not as bad as Kimmy's car, apparently. Yeah! That's that's the move right there. Oh, I pinched him a little bit. Sorry, I thought I was going to clear him. Of course I'm not going to clear him. Oh, Charles got loose. Come on. Let's see what this thing's got. It's almost got a fucking face full of Charles' ass. Collision? If, any, if that should be on anybody, it's fucking Charles' dumb ass, damn it fucking pulled out and he was like, hey, no, fuck you. That was like a knee block. Oh, brother. Oh. Oh, oh Tess, what you doing, pal? You're better than that. Oh, now here comes Charles back. And Kimmy's coming down to pit. And I shove in the last corner. Jesus. Well, that puts us P3. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got another pit stop. Albon. Oh, Charles. Oh, did I miss something? Am I supposed to pit? I'm going to lead, though. Give me that lap lead. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess Botas going to be following me in here. Yeah, he is. Jesus Christ, this is a slow pit, pit road. Okie dokie, well, didn't think I'd be up, up up here quite like this. We got really lucky with uh, get, getting past some of those moving chicanes. Two Please seconds, let's get down. it. Try to put a little bit of time on Botas. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. We out. Uh, oh my god, right in front of this battle. Hello. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, uh, 
I'm not saying we're not gonna be going double fire. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's fast. They backed out of it, though. Okay. I'm P6. There you go, he's got me this time. Nobody behind me, you got Stroll and then Kimmy. All right. Okay, keep on him, he might make a mistake. So Kimmy's on the hards. We got Stroll on the mediums, I like it. And a couple of pit stops this time, it's gonna put us up at a P4. All right, well that's the last we'll see of Charles. He's gone. Thanks for the DRS, a little bit of DRS. Information on Jovanazzi, they're slowing down. Ah, oh, like you hate to see that. I don't know where he's running. Actually, I do know where he's running. He's right up there in front of us. He's P3. Uh-oh. Yeah, Stroll's quicker. I'm going to give up a spot to Botas, and then Kimmy's the end of the road on the hards. <sighs> yeah, okay. See ya. Well, that's how you do it. Brings you up the place. That worked out. Hate to see it for Jew and Nancy. Yes. I don't know what the hell he did, but he was up there. <laughs> He's also on the hearts. That stinks. He's set, man. That stinks. That really does. We're leading our teammate. Oh, now we got Ricardo up my ass. Vettel's gonna be coming. Oh man, we might fall this out of the damn strong, points. But be aware, your tires need to go the distance. Yeah, my tires gotta go the distance. I'm trying. This car is really not good. Really not good. Ricardo's gonna have a go! Ah, not quite. That's about the only strong section of my car. I'm not really sure why either, but you know. Ooh, it is a struggle every other corner though, I tell you what. Just like that, we lost some time to stroll. I was messing around, kind of catching him. Now, I don't know. I might be able to get him. I keep going for getting on P6, man. That's crazy. All right, all we got right here. Oh, there it is. Brilliant. Nice See, I didn't put it in there too hard, but just enough to roll the outside. And then that preferred groove. And then miss the corner. Two to go. He's still got a little bit to go. Oh, man. We're going to have to defend for a lap. Get your defense signs out, everybody. Oh, this is going to be the biggest opportunity right here so far. Not quite. That is my best action. Oh, missed it. Hit like a couple pebbles out there. Oh, I got through the last corner pretty good. All right, that's a big opportunity gone right there. Oh, there it is. Backed it up. Good launch. All right. Nice and easy. Park that bus. All right, all right. Pretty solid through there. Whatever the hell that little section is. Turn in's gotten a lot better. That was a corner I've been missing a lot. I think we're gonna hold on. Barely. A little curb on exit, I don't like it, but not bad. Alright, this is this is it right here. Gap to car in front is 7.3 seconds. He got through there better than I did, that's for damn sure. Oh man, I really tried to give him some room and make the corner myself. He went for it, I respect it. I probably didn't give him enough room still, but... They're gonna be battling over the last couple spots. Oh man, I think Stroll's gonna get him. God damn it, we pulled a fifth out of our ass. All right. Oh. All right, race over. Take care of the car. My way. shoulders hurt. That was a really rough race. 
This game makes me sweaty. Oh my god. That was everything I had and then some, just to fucking hold on. We shouldn't have held, we should not have held on. The, o the only reason we finished what we did was because of that fucking ERS upgrade. I could hit it just about any straightaway I wanted and kept my momentum up. That was a huge upgrade. Now, if I could just get my car to handle, like, not a turd, we'd be good. Oh, that's still a work in progress. But look at the finishing results. Lewis Hamilton started second, finished first on the two-stopper. Albon, Charles, Botas, and once again, we, who had to reach pretty far, but we pulled one out. P5, man, what a day. From 17th. We had a pretty good start. Again, with the safety car, we came out higher than what we were on, on fresher tires, so. Uh, and then it was just a one-stopper from there, and uh, we held pretty good pace. The biggest thing, once again, the ERS upgrade, and then we got a, we got ahead of some of those stupid guys. Uh, we got we got past Kimi. Uh, Jordan King, P16. You know, it's not good, but it's, it's better. He finished higher than where he started. That's what I'm all about. 19th to 16th, I like it. I like that performance. Although he started off good last season too. But I wanna see that performance go higher and higher as we go on. We had two DNFs, George Russell under caution and then uh, Perez who set up the caution. Uh, Magnuson, he was, Grosjean was one of the roadblocks today. He actually went on the one stopper and still managed to finish 19th. Good Lord, that's tough. But either way, Jordan King finished in front of the Haas. He finished in front of the Williams and, and beat out McLaren too. So I'll take it, man. I'll definitely take that. Who you see is your biggest rival at the moment? Oh, boy. Uh, it is definitely not Max Verstappen. Uh, let's go uh, Let's go, Carlos Sainz again. That sounds good. They didn't give me anything in the middle. You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? Didn't I? I, I did. Uh, Jesus Christ, though. Like... <laughs> What do we need? Arrow? Power? Uh, power is good. We need that nimble car. Jesus. We all underestimated you, didn't we? Every fucking week. Jesus Christ, man. How do they only program in like four questions, man? This ain't NASCAR heat. It was more like dodgems than Formula One. Dodgems. Yeah, well, I mean, it was kind of a rough race. Yeah, just friendly nudges. Come on now. Great. Well, that's everything. Oh, hey, so we uh, we actually got the drag upgrade on there now. Uh, yeah, that, that leapfrogged a lot of teams in the aero department. Uh, that was a major drag upgrade that, again, I, I just kind of botched that. But um, it's unlocked a lot of stuff for us here. You get a DRS upgrade, that'd be pretty fun. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to have to get some more downforce in this thing. And uh, just like that, we uh, leapfrogged the team. I believe it was McLaren. We're on pace to pass another couple of teams here, all the way past Alfa Romeo. Again, the, the mid-pack teams are so close, but uh, we're really struggling towards that Mercedes, Red Bull, Ferrari performance. So we're getting there, man. I think we're going to make a lot of strides this year. We got a, we got a lot of stuff rolling good for us. So there you all have it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I appreciate you all for watching as always, man. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.